good morning from a Walmart parking lot where I have been spending the night for the last week or so. All right. So I plan on going into the mountains for the next couple of days. But first, I had to go restock on some groceries. And luckily, Walmart is right here. And I also have to do laundry because I am out of clothes. So, we're gonna get that done before heading out of here. I should probably brush my teeth first. It is only like nine o'clock, not even, and it's already super hot. I got a bigger bowl finally. Okay, we're gonna deal with that later. I also got some donuts, because that's what I'm craving this morning. Also got a tiny measuring cup for, for mixing sauces. And flippy flops, because I have to retire my Burks. It's been so hot that my feet sweat a whole lot and it all the sweat <laughs> has absorbed into the burks and they do not smell good let's just say that and although i can i don't want to wear my shower shoes <laughs> everywhere so we got some cheap target thongs though honestly these weren't that cheap they were like 15 dollars. i feel like that's a lot for target but for walmart prices okay I have to go to an ATM to get cash for coins and then do laundry. So while I'm waiting for that to get done, I'm gonna make some coffee. Y'all, this mug, this mug right here. I saw this when I think I was in Palm Springs, at a Target in Palm Springs. And I thought, you know what? This is too expensive. I'm not gonna get it. But then I've been obsessed with it ever since. And I went to like 10 different Targets to try and find it. And it just so happened I found one in Arizona and I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee. And then yeah, just catch up on my morning stories. You know what I mean? All right, so it is noon right now and it takes about three and a half hours to get to where I wanna go. So I'm gonna go to a local park to make some breakfast because I'm hungry. Well, I guess lunch, brunch, whatever. Because I'm hungry and then get some more strong coffee or an energy drink or caffeine or something and then hit the road so i'll see you guys at the park probably if i decide to film that part because it's just going to be eggs and toast i'll see you guys later <laughs> Uh, I made it to the trailhead. I think I'm just gonna camp here tonight because there aren't signs that says I can't park overnight. So that's what, that's just what I'm gonna do. Gotta ask for forgiveness later if I can't. It's very windy. Uh, I am hungry though, so I'm gonna make some food. I'm thinking sort of like a coconut curry soup situation. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I have an idea in my head and I think it's gonna be very good. I have some um, udon noodles, curry paste. I think that's all I need from here. Yeah, I think that's all I need from there. We'll see how it turns out. I've never made this before, so fingers crossed. I think it's gonna be good. I essentially, it's just like Thai curry, but it's just gonna be soupier than like a Thai curry. You know, we'll see. All right, so I prepped all the ingredients. We got basil, green onions, 
Napa cabbage, bell pepper, chicken, and then I'm gonna put this and some of the nicer basil leaves on top as garnish at the end. And I think I'm also gonna add in this chili oil with garlic because I think that's gonna be good. And then obviously the uh, udon noodles. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> now it's a good curry paste when you're coughing as it's stir frying. I don't have a table, which is unfortunate because I feel like I should get a table somehow in here. But let's see how it tastes. I boiled the udons, the udons, <laughs> the udons separately because I know it can get starchy and gummy and I didn't want that in the soup. Let's try the soup. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's spicy. You can't see, but cheers. I'm going to try this. A different way. Okay, somewhat better angle. You, st fuck. You know what? It's fine. Y'all saw. Y'all saw what it looked like. I think I should have just added one can of water instead of two because this is entirely too much broth for me. And then I also added in chicken bouillon powder because I didn't have chicken stock. However, for a recipe on the fly, this is very good. Mm -hmm. I will eat this, finish, and then just hang out because I don't have reception and I have to figure out a way to kill time. So I'll, I'll catch you guys later or in the morning. I don't know. Later. Okay. I'm done eating. I'm just cleaning up now. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. That may have been one of the best things I've ever cooked not just in the van, in my life. When I'm in like an apartment, I tend to just stick to the same thing because I meal prep a whole lot because I get lazy and I don't want to cook. <clears throat> so I tend to not be as adventurous with my cooking. But since being on the road, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and also save money because eating out is expensive and I am on a fixed income. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. One of my best creations. Definitely gonna add that to the rotation of whatever meals I cook. It is like 9.30, I think. I woke up a whole lot later than I wanted to. I took an edible and completely just knocked out. But I don't think I told you guys where I am. I am in Gila National Forest, and I found out just a few days ago that there's a hot springs here. Actually, there's multiple hot springs, but this one I think is the easiest to get to. It's only about mile-ish to get there. So of course I'm gonna go, you know. What else am I gonna do, not go? But yeah, apparently there are wolves in the area.
got to be a river crossing, you know? <laughs> Always a must to get to cool spots. Here is river crossing number two. Looks like we're here. Pull there. And then the big one there. And look at all the tadpoles. <laughs> They're so cute. Had to do the cold plunge and it was very cold you know whoever thought of a cold plunge into a hot spring was a very smart dude or person i should say that because this feels great right now It got really windy all of a sudden, but I'm heading back now. I just did a couple of cold dips into a hot dip, a warm dip, but the springs weren't really hot. It was just lukewarm once again, but it's fine. I, I still enjoyed it, but the cold dip into the hot springs, like that's, that's perfection. Anywho, that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!